Namaste beautiful yogis, coming on to just touch base and continue the conversation with you. There have been a few questions that you left um, uh, for me, so I want to talk about them. And I've always loved hair bands and just ethnic scarves and stuff. And now I'm finally growing into them because I'm also a baker. So I finally grew into my hair headbands. <laughs> I was thinking this the other day and it's kind of ironic and funny and of course um, how the universe works. Anyway, so um, a few of you asked me some good questions, uh, continuation on the talk about manifestation, ego, spirituality. Someone asked me, uh, she doesn't feel that she's as good a um, as deep into spirituality or so spiritual as I am um, and so she has second thoughts about becoming a teacher because she doesn't feel that she can bring the same spirituality that I bring into my classes which is funny because I don't even feel that I focus on spirituality in my classes but that's what you get out of me uh, I try to bring a lot of physicality <laughs> in my head in my mind um, but any human being as well as any yoga teacher is their unique being with their unique offering no two humans no two yoga teachers are the same you don't have to ever even mention spirituality in your classes just bring who you are bring what your gifts are bring what you have to give to the world from yourself if you feel the impulse to teach it's a really unique strong impulse not everybody is born to be a teacher there are people that cannot explain anything that they're good at teaching is a unique skill if you feel drawn to teaching yoga if if it's in your heart don't doubt or compare yourself to your others or to your teacher if I'm your teacher don't feel that you have to bring that into the world I'm already bringing who I am you're gonna bring something completely else there are teachers that are physical therapists that uh, deal with trauma, with pain, with sexual abuse. With There's so many variations of what we can teach. So what I teach is it's just one aspect. And no one, a teacher doesn't even have to be spiritual at all. There's teachers that are very physical that can manually help you fix your body. And they will never even mention anything about love. And... There is no right or wrong way to teach. Yoga is not about spirituality. Yoga or your offering is about your unique self and who you are and what you have to give in the, to the world. What we have to give oftentimes it's intertwined, inter, interwoven into our purpose. So it's, it's manifesting your purpose or bringing your purpose into the world, basically what we're trying to do. So don't get discouraged. Sorry. Do not get discouraged. Uh, and do not compare yourself to others. Be who you are and feel what you have within yourself to give, which leads me to the next discussion, which is purpose. We've been talking about purpose and I asked on Instagram, have, do you know what your North Node is? I have videos on the North Node on this channel, older ones. North Node is your purpose in your chart. There is no better way to me to learn about yourself than uh, from the tools that are given uh, to us on Earth than astrology. It's a unique psychological system of learning about yourself, not predictive astrology. I'm talking about psychological astrology that it allows you to understand your nature better and the nature of those around you better. And also it gives you a glimpse of why you are here on earth. Why did you come here? What is your purpose? What do you need to strive towards? What are your gifts? Where can you just work on and receive with this? Those are your potentiality. I like to say that yoga is astrology, sorry, is the map of your potentiality. That doesn't mean that you will manifest any of your gifts. It's still up to you to do it. You still have to do it yourself. So, um, when you look at your North Node by house position and by sign and also by conjunctions, you will get a lot of answers as to what you need to do in the world. And it's unique for every human being. Just because two people have North Node in Virgo doesn't mean they have the same um, the same purpose. I'll give you an example. Um, I might have spoken about it, not sure on this channel. I did astrology videos long time ago. 
minority note is in Virgo and the south note is where you come from, what you have perfected, what your soul has been through and what it has been in previous existences, lives, manifestations, incarnations, etc. So mine is in Pisces and they both are by house the same. So I have no disharmony there. It's just by house and sign is the same. Sixth house, north node in Virgo. Sixth house rules or Virgo rules, sixth house. So the house shows you the area in which you have to express the quality. The quality is the sign. The house is the area of expression where you're going to bring that into the world. So in my daily life, which is sixth house, I will bring six, uh, Virgo values, which is routine, taking care of the health, serving humanity, service, giving, what I have achieved in previous lives, which is Piscean qualities. I've achieved a lot of spirituality. I've been very dissolved. I've not been at all into my ego. I've been completely dissolved, understanding universal love and oneness. And now I don't have to separate from that spirituality and become practical and pragmatic, but I can serve with the lessons from that past. So that's an example of how it manifests itself in my chart. I personally feel that when I look at my North Node, I feel that I'm actually walking my path. It happened magically because I've never been liking anything that has to do with Virgo or sixth house. Those are things that are challenging for me because I'm supposed to achieve them in my lifetime. So I have to be organized, routine oriented, things that I just despise, despise. But when I look at my life, this is what I've become. I've, I've obsessively strived about, about things as health, yoga, food, that is healthy eating is Virgo. There is nothing Nothing is more healthy eating than Virgo. So, and even though I have Taurus rising, which is a foodie, someone that likes to indulge, and I have Aries in my chart in 12th house, which is in my past. So there is, again, no contrast there. My ego falls in the house of dissolving, of being one with the universe. So I still can bring my past into my uh, daily for my chart. Every chart is different. I cannot generalize and tell you just because you have North Node in Virgo, you have to be this and that way. Because for me, you see the sun, the location of the sun, um, with the ruler, the ruler of the North Node, all of that matters. So it may sound very complicated, but once you start learning it, it's so exciting, so interesting, so mind ex expanding and so forth. I actually will, you keep asking me uh, to offer uh, readings, I will. Let me figure out how to do it exactly because it's something that you have to feel inspired and it takes a lot of energy to just really tune into a person. Uh, but I'll offer probably a couple of months uh, of um, readings, astrological intuitive reading, so based on your astrological chart and also how I kind of feel a spark um, for you. But once you fall into your North Node, once you start doing your North Node, you will be recognized and loved by people for what you do, not by people, uh, grand people or anything, but the people that you serve are going to receive the benefits of it because you're going to be executing your purpose. Once you are living your purpose, you're able to give from a higher frequency place, from a deeper place of truth to others. So when you're giving from the past, it doesn't align quite with your purpose now, so something feels off. You might love your past, but something energetically will feel off. So if I'm very spiritual, I just can't do much in the world because that's my past. I love anything spirituality, I can be completely dissolved, I live on a mountaintop, never see a human being and just feel the universal love and feel God and the divine and just be one with that, but that's not what I came for. That's what I've been, where I've been, what is easy to me. I'm here to serve, to observe routine and the, the daily grind and as much as I've avoided it in my early 20s and slowly somehow I've uh, fallen into my purpose and that's why you look into your chart and if you're uncertain message me and I will create a wait list with astrology readings and I'll I'll post uh, I'll post when I'm 
gonna start doing it because I feel like I it's a, something I'll do in the future. I'm just trying to choose the right timing for it. Another question was sudden downloads. That was on Instagram uh, versus gradual uh, growth. Um, so I'm not reading the question, but it is, can you speak about sudden downloads rather than uh, just gradually growing? I think for me has always been epiphanies, but gradual epiphanies. And sometimes some epiphanies are so big, but then I forget them. So sudden or gradual growth, I think it's the same thing. Some people just gradually grow, grow, grow. But I think for most of us, there is those aha moments where your mind just explodes and you realize deep uh, universal truths. And I think that is, um, and also you can do all your growth in one second. You can be preparing for that second for years and reading and reading and some, at some moment things align and your mind explodes or your soul explodes. So yeah, I think for, for me, it's always been sudden sudden epiphanies, although when I, I shouldn't have thrown them out when we were moving, I found some of my old writings, and when I was reading, I was like, where did I, where would I know this from, I don't know it now, so a lot of things that I was blowing my mind with, truths and stuff, not drugs, but just, you know, blowing the mind from expanding the mind, it's, it's the same as drugs, but it's induced by the mind itself, so if you access those, um, receptors in the brain that just are mind expansive and again that comes from my 12th house and Pisces I, I can go into those places that people need ayahuasca with <laughs> but I can just go there because it's it's in my past it's in my repertoire of things that I have good access to but then I don't have good access to daily routines of serving others and you see me obsessively doing it because that is my purpose that's what I have to become good at and I'm working hard on it I'm just grinding every day so I am uh, I am going towards uh, the north node and we all have to especially after 33 up until then you can still be falling into your south node a lot of people are but once you hit that mark you have to start looking forward the past is the past it serves the purpose to show you what kind of person what kind of talents and gifts you have but now you have to transition in into its opposition because the south node your past and the north node your future and your current purpose their opposition so you're going but there opposition is usually the same qualities on the spectrum on the axis the spectrum of the quality so they're not true opposition opposition is easy because opposition is not what we think two completely different things but it's actually two of the same things on the, on the spectrum of qualities so we're expressing the different spectrum uh, sudden downloads, I think that is the more common way and the more profound way, sudden downloads over just slowly learning things. But I think gradually, I mean, when I say we're gradually growing, it's because it never stops, uh, even with the sudden downloads, unless you completely explode into a, into a, into a star, into a black hole, into a universe or something, which I'm sure can happen. Uh, but it, yeah, it is, uh, my teacher says, that you can spend your entire life reading all the spiritual books and manuals and Bibles and stuff and just kind of barely get stuff and things or you can read so that I, I got cut off in the previous one so my teacher says that you can uh, spend your entire life reading all the Bibles all the manuals all the spiritual texts in the world you can just constantly constantly be in search of the truth or you can read one line and understand all of reality so i think that the mind when it's ready and aligned and the body is prepared can expand exponentially uh, that's why we prepare the body because if we have a very congested dirty body with pesticides pollutions heavy metals um, animal flesh just congestion in the body i think we can it's way harder 
obviously to raise the frequencies that's why we try to do plant food and water and sun and it's just healing in general and that is a process of healing the body healing the emotions sometimes healing the past and again i'm a aries at heart i believe that healing can happen just like that you don't have to spend an entire lifetime but then when i say to some friends of mine they would disagree because to them it's a gradual slow process a continuous healing for me, it's if you realize something, you can do it over just like that, because that's how also reality works. It works gradually, but it also works in that explosive. Yes, you get it all of a sudden, and it's the, the realization of truth is far more powerful than anything that's holding you from the past, because the past doesn't exist. It's not here. Here, you're safe. You're free. And transformation can happen like that as well it's 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 no right or wrong way it's no one way it's not a particular way the same with teaching with learning with growing you can express your uniqueness however you want to you can be a completely unheard of so far yoga teacher of how you approach things and that might be just what the universe and humanity needs so bring your own uniqueness, trust in your own uniqueness, don't imitate anyone, don't try to simulate anything, but just tap in, delve in, feel. That's a fire alarm and I'm sure it's because Johnny is cooking. And it's a good thing, a fire alarm goes on when, when I say just tap in, this is the message of the video, obviously. Just go in, be your unique self, give what you have to give. For some people, um, giving is to just not deal with humans at all. That doesn't mean everybody has to serve. I have to serve, because my North Node is in Virgo. And instead of resisting it and thinking, oh, I just want to be my Piscean self and be dissolved and feel the love of the universe because it's accessible to feel it to me. And just That is not where I'm going to grow. And if you have Pisces, North Node, then you just have to give up on everything, on humanity, and just sit at home and get dissolved and feel love and get downloads and the abundance of everything. Of course, that is the, every North Node has higher, every sign has higher and lower manifestation and expression. So, um, a Piscean North Node, if you're avoiding the higher frequency of it, it could mean drugs and um, disassociation and getting lost rather than dissolving into oneness and love. So you always have to strive for and once you understand the qualities, you kind of put it in your mind to move forward with them. But it's very helpful to look at your north now so you know what your purpose is even mentally, so you know what direction to take. And also you confirm your inner urges, your urges for growth. You understand where they're coming from. Uh, sometimes it is to be alone. Not everybody has to be in a partnership. Uh, not everybody has to, uh, you know, a lot of spiritual teachings teach you how to not believe in your um, in your current persona because that's the ego and you're truly a soul. But for me, it's the opposite because all I feel is that I'm not this person. So again, I got cut off. But uh, as I was saying, uh, uh, the contrary to common teachings, spiritual teachings, for me, it's the opposite. I have to really integrate myself into this persona because all I feel is that I'm not this person. I had to, it was a long coming, 40 years of trying to just really understand that I'm not a soul right now and in this current life I'm this particular uh, being that I have to grow into love and understand and be, be here in, in, in this being. It is temporary but it is current. So. No spiritual teaching applies to everybody. That's why everybody hears something else when they do my classes. Not everybody hears the same thing that I'm saying because it translates differently. And also, if you hear something that you're not ready to hear, you're just not even going to register it or understand it. And five years later, you'll do the same class and it will be a completely new class to you because your soul is in a different place wanting to learn different things. We don't hear everything that is said 
and we don't translate it, understand it. And as we grow, we hear more or we hear deeper truths. I don't remember if I came out, uh, someone asked me to talk about the ego, that's a whole other discussion and again I would talk about it through astrology because I mentioned that I'm a little bit dissolved and I touched upon it, it's coming from a 12th house that is packed with all my planets and so my son is in 12th, again I will talk about it from a astrological perspective because I love astrology and it's a very very strong, very strong system of symbolism. But um, the ego in your chart is your son. The son represents the ego, the father and your ego for this lifetime. And the ascendant is how you physically are, how you physically look, which is inter intertangled. It's connected with the ego. So my son is in 12th house, so again, the house of dissolvement. So for me, I have to work on actually staying more integrated being less dissolved but at the same time i'm allowed to also be more dissolved because the the sun is there anyway so i can tap into my past but also bring it into my future i think i'm filling up my phone with uh, the memory so i'll finish here if you're interested in talking about those things about dissolved ego it, it again the ego as long as you're friends with your ego and you understand your deeper self and your as long as the ego doesn't rule you the soul is not asleep your soul is not sleeping and your ego is controlling you and you have no access to your soul the conscious mind that is then it is okay it is fine the ego really allows you to move into this world and do things nothing wrong with the ego it's just where it goes wrong is when it overtakes um, the impulses of the soul or the driving of the soul so my phone doesn't have any more memory i love you guys i'll see you soon post your questions below